clambering about here requires some very delicate footwork indeed. Mother's tail clearly makes a better handhold for a youngster, but even at this age, a young shifak is able to negotiate the spines. Collecting dideria leaves and flowers, and they're the shifak's main food, looks even more hazardous than travelling around through its branches. But when shifaks decide to move, they can travel very fast indeed. They use the same basic method as bush babies, but do so with such speed and confidence that they seem almost to bounce from trunk to trunk. Only in slow motion can you see just how accurately they land and how instantaneously they're able to take off again. But given the chance, they assess their jumps with care. Takeoff has to start sideways on to the line of flight, so they have to rotate their bodies in midair. Then those hind legs, having kicked off, have to be swung forward to act as shock absorbers as they make contact. Their back feet are long and narrow with an enormous big toe so that they can lock onto a trunk as soon as they hit it. Then, within seconds, they're off again. And a female can even do all this while she's carrying a baby. Down on the ground, however, the method doesn't work quite so well. Extremely long legs and very short arms make it impossible to run on all fours, so once again it has to be jumping. But with no vertical trunk to push away from, the leaps are rather shorter. Back in the trees, they can travel at speed again. And they need to, for they have a savage enemy. The fossa. Its speed through the branches rivals that of the shifax, but its technique is entirely different, for it's not a primate with jumping ancestors, but a kind of giant mongoose, and it's still a four-footed runner. Nonetheless, they're a close match for one another. But when it comes to the long jump, the Shifak wins. A four-footed runner can't match that. <laughs> 